Hi, my name is Emily. Today I'm going to show you how to add a new site to your platform in Liferay DXP 7.4. I'm currently signed in as an administrator, and I'm on the default site. If I open the global menu, you can see under the Sites tab that this is my only site. Now we'll go to the control panel under Sites, Sites. Here we can see our global site and again, our default site. To add our new site, click the blue Add button on the right side. Select a site template. We haven't made any site templates yet, so our only option is to create a blank site. Select that and we're prompted to enter a name. I'm going to call this site Liferay Publications. And then click Save. We're immediately taken to our site settings page. From here, we can configure platform, content and data, and other elements on our site. I'm going to select Site Configuration. Here we have the option to change our site name, add a description, set the site as active or inactive, add a parent site, and manage the membership type for our site. We'll change the parent site to Liferay DXP, and then click Save at the bottom. We also have the Site URL tab, where we can manage the friendly URL and virtual host. To start adding pages to our site, we open the Site Administration panel on the left and navigate to Site Builder, Pages. Click either the New or Add button on the right and select Public Page. I'm given the option to choose a page template from one of two existing collections, basic templates or global templates. I'd like a blog template, so I'll go to Global Templates and select the Blog Widget Page template. We'll name this page Blog and then Add. Now we're directed to configure page settings. You can see several tabs for managing general, look and feel, and advanced settings, as well as options to manage SEO, open graph, and custom meta tags. We'll go ahead and click Save to accept the default settings. Click the back arrow, and you can see our page has been added. Here's our blog page. We don't have a ton of options for these widgets since we use a template, but we can change that by going into the configure page settings once again and deselecting inherit changes. Immediately, you can see I have a lot of options for changing the layout. I'm going to select the 50-50 option and then click save. When we return to the page, you can see that my widgets are now evenly distributed on the page. I also have a lot more options for managing these widgets. We can also add additional widgets to the page by using the plus sign on the right. Simply drag and drop the widgets you want onto the page. If we go back to the global menu, you can see Library Publications shows up in the Sites tab. And if we return to Control Panel Site Sites, we now see that Liferay DXP has one child site. We can either click Liferay DXP or use the three dots to view this child site. If we need to make any additional changes to Liferay publications, we can use these three dots to return to the site settings. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.